Me right here, this is giving horse ranch mixed with cottage living. Being Delulu is the best way to play The Sims because you're gonna have so much fun. You know, you know, look, The Sims be doing things where you just like bombastic side eye. Like this is right on theme. When I think Life of Death EP, this world exactly is what I'm talking about. I mean, down to the eerie core. Oh wait, this is actually really, really cute. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. On a scale one to 10, not including gameplay, I'm gonna write this entire thing a what is up guys, my name is Sam Yen, my name is Yen, I play The Sims, did you see what I did there? It's, I've been, look, I've been in the four month sleep regression, when I tell y'all I've been going through it, but at the end of the day, me and baby boy gonna make it through, okay? Before we get into today's video, the winners will be announced on the community board as well as my Twitter, so if you guys have not seen it already, go check it out, because the winner has been announced, and congratulations to the winner. There will be plenty of more giveaways, as you guys know, I love giving back to the community that pours so much love into me. Today we're gonna be going over the life and death expansion pack, just to be clear, it's only gonna be a world review as well as build and buy and create a sim gameplay will be in a completely separate video because we are actually going to play test a lot of the things that they have available i'm actually really excited to get into the gameplay features but of course that's going to be in another video so stay tuned for that hopefully i can get that out by this weekend but of course look we just have to wait and see all right so we're starting off with 13 lots now there are three different areas the morning veil and then we also are greeted with whispering Glen, and we also got crows crossing now again all of this is going to be completely cc free because i want you guys to see exactly what everything looks like straight into the game without any mods or cc so off the bat this is what we're looking at as far as the world now like i said i don't think the world looks actually bad i just think it's something that we've already seen before i wish they would have went another route i like the vibe that they're going for but again it's something that we we've already seen. A lot of you guys might argue that the architecture is a little bit different from something that we've gotten before and I get what they were trying to go for but again there are a lot of new townies that I know a lot of simmers that love to recreate townies can do so it'll be interesting to see a lot of your lores that you guys decide to do with that but overall it's just a one giant plaza which I'm not too mad about because it does have that open world feel. You guys let me know down below in the comments how y'all feel about it. You can tell they tried to pay attention a lot more to the details and try to make this world feel as eerie as possible and I think this would be a really good world as far as lore for your sims i love the little details in the back uh the reaper's reward system guys i have not played with that and it's actually getting a little bit annoying now they did say that this is going to have a couple of cross pack compatibilities which we'll find out a little bit more in the gameplay video but i do think it's funny because you see a lot of these little ghost things and a lot of them and you do definitely see these with a paranormal pack i believe so it's really cute to see a little a lot of cross pack compatibility again i do love the fountain and i love this eerie vibe and look i mean again you can tell a very creepy story now we're in whispering Glen, which reminds me of cottage living so much i do get that they went for different vibes for different sections but at the same time like i said it's something that we've already seen one thing that really annoyed me was that they did confirm that we are going to have absolutely no snow in this world which does kind of piss me off because it kind of seems like the because to me it kind of seems like they were being a little lazy because i think this world very well at least a part of it could have had snow in it for me personally i do think the developers are taking the lazy route out now some guru ninja did confirm why he was doing this but personally for me i do feel like they could have just added that in there because again there are so many worlds that are lacking yes there is rain but i do feel like there's a lot of worlds that are just lacking seasons and that they just don't want to do and i just feel like they just don't want to do the mechanics on it is it just me overall whispering Glen seems very familiar and it seems familiar because it does look like something that we've already gotten like i said to me personally it looks like cottage living but you guys let me know down below in the comments do you guys feel that it could be anything else or do y'all feel like it actually just looks completely different from anything that you've ever seen before like i said the bridges the legs i just wish they could have given us a little bit more we have a couple of little abandoned in areas over here and i'd be interested to see yes your your sims can uh, explore and woohoo and do all different kinds of things around here so there are some things around the world that your sims can go and you know explore and have a little bit more lore like right here guys it's just giving me right here this is giving horse ranch mixed with cottage living again i'm not already a fan of the world but i did mention that already before but again this does feel very creepy in a sense of but it's just an okay world i wouldn't say i would go out my way for this world oh i do love a good highway sign we might see i think we're gonna be seeing that in the debug one thing about me is y'all already know that i love simlish so i love that this came with it because that's gonna be in the debug oh we cannot get out of this what is this oh, oh, oh okay we're gonna end this event and last but not least we have morning veil like i said there's gonna be a bunch of new townies that we're gonna be able to play with so that's gonna be really exciting to see all the different things that people are gonna be able to do for me personally morning veil is definitely the name of the pack like this is right on theme when 
I think Life of Death EP, this world exactly is what I'm talking about. I mean, down to the eerie core. It almost reminds me of Wednesday. I've only seen a couple of... <laughs> See, he thinks so too. It almost reminds me of Wednesday. I've seen a couple of I've seen a couple of episodes, and for me personally, I feel like the Adams family would be right along in this. This to me is probably the best section of the world, I would have to say. And this one feels the most different of something that we haven't seen before. I love what they did as far as the animations, especially with the rain hitting with the rocks and the creepy trees. And then there's like this little bridge that leads you to like this little area. I definitely love this area over me personally. I definitely love this area over here. This is definitely giving story time creepiness. And again, there is a new TV show that's actually that actually came with Life and Death. There is a little plaza that your Sims can walk through. Again, I feel like to me personally, this is one of my favorite parts of this entire EP is this section over here. I really did love and I thought this was gonna be part of the portal is this lake right here because this looks absolutely stunning. And I feel like they could have done a little bit more with this. Maybe even made it to where you dive in and you go into an underwater, super, not necessarily underwater, but more like a supernatural world. Do you know what I mean? Like right after, like if you click this, you go into the supernatural natural realm i feel like that would have been so cool to see again this definitely is feeling eerie and it's giving like movie i just i love it all i think this looks really really nice so there you guys have the world i me personally my favorite is of course going to be morning veil they did already even say there's something oddly world about the there's some there's something otherworldly about the morning veil maybe it's the way the wind howls through the trees again i just i just love this area so much this section over here is something that we've already seen before but that's a personal opinion y'all let me know how y'all feel about the map we're gonna get into build and buy and create a sim okay we have every different stage i do feel like elder should be in its own category but that's a personal opinion y'all let me know down below in the comments how y'all feel about it okay first okay we're gonna get into the women's section first and we're gonna start off with the hairs now they did have a couple of different hairstyles as you guys can see and they're not actually bad i do feel like maxis is actually really working on their choices of hairs like even adding these baby hairs and this is actually my favorite one hold the phone because they actually did a little design okay with the textures all right okay they, they ate without one little thing i'll give you guys that again their main focus wasn't you can tell their main focus wasn't the creative sim or build and buy it was more so the game play if y'all even saw the live stream y'all would know that that was it just seemed like that was their that that was their main focus i absolutely love this hairstyle this is probably one of my favorite hairstyles that they've ever had and this one as well i really do love this one and i feel like they did and carefully make sure and pay attention because you guys can even see the under under the you guys can even see the lower little line out. I love that. That just a little bit of detail goes a long way. I actually really like this pixie cut. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that one. As far as hats, we do have this this one. And then we also have one that's locked behind. <laughs> He's just staring at me. We have this one and we also have one that's locked behind. Here's like a little hat. I'm not going to, I'm not really here for the hat. But as far as accessories go, there is a couple of earrings. I don't think these are really cute at all. I feel like they could have did a little bit more with accessories. But that's just a personal opinion. Because what is this? Unless they're doing a masquerade ball i don't feel like this is necessary but again if you have halloween this would be perfect if you're into halloween this I, I if you're into halloween for your sims i feel like this would be perfect but the necklace i guess and then here's some glasses and shades um i just i don't know i'm not here for it i feel like I, I get it but it's giving a little bit of cartoony but i do love that we finally have gauges in this so i'm gonna go ahead and give her that as far as tops we do have a couple more now this is not screaming you know what this is i changed my mind this is screaming life and death i will say on a scale one to ten i'm gonna go ahead and rate just just the shirts itself a solid six i just feel like yeah it's cool but mm, i mean it is what it is i there's a couple tops here i do like this top and of course there's different ways that you can wear this in different colors i feel like there's a time and place for this one as well as this one this one actually i love the slit and i like how you can like i just i don't know i like the vibe because if you take the pants off and you like maybe wear some like shorts or a skirt i do like the way the slits open and then it's, it's, it's really cute it, it's a vibe it's a, it's a vibe if you do it right um and i do love the ombre color i'm actually gonna leave this on here after i look at all these other ones but i do like the little like i said i do like these these aren't bad this is definitely giving for teenager i don't know what, what do you guys think and then this one as well I, de I definitely think i definitely think this goes very very well with the grunge pack you guys let me know i'm gonna stick with this shirt for right now we do have a full body outfit for these i think the full body outfits are really really gorgeous and i think they did a really good job with trying to make sure everything made sense now there are a couple things that are locked behind paywall now there are a couple things that are locked behind careers so you guys are gonna have to unlock those yourself but this is really like why is this even here um i know that, that like no 
you know, the Sims be doing things where you just like bombastic side eye. And then there's this. I do feel like there's a time and place for this. If you're really into that occult type of gameplay, I feel like you could make this work with like some sort of like, I don't know, life or death ritual thing that they're going to be doing. Like, I don't know. And then I really like this one. This is reminds me of like an investigator, like in one of those creepy films. I actually really do like this one. This is really cute. I feel like it's definitely Sims. It screams Sims to me. But I would love to know your opinions. But I'm, I'm going to stick with this. One thing I didn't do is I forgot to go into makeup so we're gonna check that out there's this makeup and then there's this one as well i think they're all i think these choices are all hideous in my personal opinion and the, the eye makeup what is what is going on it seems like they're going back to that mac collab is it just me yeah no we're gonna stick we're, we're, we're gonna stay away from that but y'all let me know how y'all feel I feel like they need to eventually give us new eyebrows and eyelashes and things like that because i'm just not here for it i feel like there's just so much more they could have done but that's just a personal opinion i really wish they would have gave us more lashes but we only got lashes with love struck and you know it just looks like one one big glob but that's just a personal opinion as far as as far as pants we do have a couple of different options like i said it does seem like their focus was not create a sim it just seemed like their focus was more so on it means their focus is on gameplay and then we have a couple of different shoes i think for an ep this is absolutely ridiculous that they only gave us four different types of shoes but again personal opinion there's absolutely no styled looks and as far as careers and aspirations go now there's a couple of different aspirations and i do think the traits is kind of like and eh, like we have skeptical and things like that but one thing i do love that they did end up showing is that you can now pick an occult and you can select alien vampire merewolf spellcaster or werewolf so that'll be really really fun to play with and i think that's really cool that we can just do that off the bat instead of having to choose it down over here i think this is also going to go a long a long way as well and you can actually pick the cause of death and you can automatically straight up and one thing i do love that they ended up doing is that you can automatically straight up pick the cause of death with your sims so even like we can already say this is how your sim died and then we can bring them into the game and it'll be just a lot easier they ate with that one as far as men we're going to go ahead and start off with hairs they did do a couple of hairs with men and I don't think these all look bad I just think that there could have been more options wow okay they changed pay attention representation and then there we have a couple of different hairstyles as well I really do like this one I, I feel like this is gonna this, I feel like this is gonna be used a lot by a lot of simmers I don't know why but I also do love that they paid attention to representation because th I love that do they give beards please tell me they gave us beards they did give us beards but that not with the we do have a hat as well and then as far as accessories go we did get gauges and then there's no makeup and then accessories as well so as far as as far as the clothes i'm not sure where they were trying to aim for this but it's definitely giving mortimer maybe I'm not sure where they were really going for this but this is actually looking really interesting so my little sister got me a stanley cup yes i'm a stanley cup girl now i was using the bootleg one from five and below but now i have the real deal for those who don't know i just turned 30 on the 27th of october so 30 flirty and thriving if y'all watch 13 going on 30 y'all already know but anyway we do have a couple of outfits again i just always think the men lack this is definitely giving ariel like the little mermaid i don't know where they were going with this but i guess then we have a couple of outfits here and there i think my favorite one would probably be just this cardigan and just like i am really here for the full outfits i feel like this is where they did their big one personally for me again they didn't even do all that but i just feel like i just feel like this is where they got the most creative in my personal opinion and then we also have a couple of different pants that we haven't seen before i actually really like that belt on the sims i feel like that belt worked i have no idea when my camera actually stopped but anyway i don't like how they always just just go for this uh, like here's the crop they could have gave us an other version too other than crop i feel like for me personally they've definitely been going very feminine on the male clothing and i wish they would just do a little bit of both if they were to do that i feel like that's also a way of the developers being a little bit lazy when it comes down to create a sim because they technically just don't feel like doing all of that that's just a personal opinion there's also new nails that um we did get as far as shoes we do have a couple of new shoes for the males i actually really like these i don't think these look bad at all and then there's just a couple of different options and colors we do have these two but you know it is again you know it's just something that we're gonna have to deal with okay let's see if they actually even gave us tattoos okay it is what it is we're just gonna leave that as that teens are of course the same but we're gonna go ahead and go to children kids only got one top that is so not cool like i said they did their big one with full body we got absolutely no pants we got no pants for the kids that makes absolutely no sense this is an expansion pack where's my money going oh right to the gameplay but i don't care it still should be going towards everything i'm spending 40 dollars on this game and no shoes no accessories no pants 
full body but one top okay so me personally this is an expansion pack i don't care how much gameplay is in it i'm going to need the creative sim to match that maybe if this was a stuff pack i would look at it and be like okay fine but as far as it being an, an ep and i'm spending 40 bucks yeah i'm gonna need them to run me my money as far as toddlers i wouldn't be surprised if there's anything yeah that's what i thought and it's absolutely disappointing it's very disappointing actually we did get this one little shirt i mean it's cute but it's unfortunate because i feel like it should be coming with more oh wait this is actually really really cute i'm not gonna lie y'all look at this oh my goodness this is so cute wait i really do like this this might be my favorite thing in the entire creative sim like i kid you not this is absolutely adorable oh my goodness oh my goodness this is my favorite one this is my favorite oh, cute all right there you go there and then there's that and then of course the last but not least we are going to look into infants all right we have no hairs no hats no accessories nothing and then as far as clothing let's see if we get some but we did get some stuff for the full body i think this is actually really cute okay the kids actually might be my favorite part of this entire create a sim for the ep are you kidding me how cute is this little sweatsuit wait these are so cute okay yeah okay the sims team did their big one on the toddlers and the and the kids as far as full body outfit i do feel like they should have came with a little bit more stuff for the kids but I really do like their full body outfit. And that's pretty much it. On a scale 1 to 10, what would I create this creative sim? I would definitely give it a solid six. I know a lot of people are gonna tussle with me, but that's just genuinely how I feel. I just personally feel like they could have done a lot more, but I do love that we have a representation within the game. The full body is definitely where it's at. But you guys let me know how y'all feel about the creative sim. That's just a personal opinion. If this was a game pack, I could definitely understand the excuse, but it's not a game pack. It's an EP, and so I'm gonna need them to represent everything. But yeah, now we're gonna take a look at this build and buy, and let's get into this. I know a lot of people always forget that The Sims has custom rooms that you can make that makes it 20 times easier to build if you're not a builder. Do I use this? No, but should i yes not only that but the rooms actually just help you get an idea of what you want to do because you can always put the rooms down and then go ahead and edit them yourself one of the pre-made rooms already comes out with this funeral type look and as y'all can see this is what this is what it looks like and you can decorate it and just you, you can decorate it expand it do a little bit more it just gives you guys the base of what you can expect this is another one of the rooms i don't think this looks that bad clearly it's supposed to be for a nursery and if you guys have gotten that recent kit that we got where it's i do like this little bookshelves right here then we have another room this is clearly like a teenager's room or maybe somebody who really just wants to work in the grim reaper world maybe that's what i'll do as far as the gameplay story like she's just into the grim reaper life like i don't know that's actually grim. that's actually really creepy imagine meeting somebody and they're saying that they want to be a part like, like they want to be a grim reaper what and then we have a couple of pre-made rooms right here as well again these are all kid rooms and it's giving a little scary like what they could have given us some adult rooms and then this is a living room as well doesn't look that bad and then we have like this kind of study hall kind of vibe i do love the tarot card the tarot card kind of vibes this is actually really cool and i love the posters again anything in simlish i'm going to be screaming for i do want to do a build where we're building something that has to do with life and death let me know down below in the comments what you guys would like me to build let's take a look at everything that this has came with all right what i will say is that there's a lot of options for y'all if you guys like knickknack and i saw a lot of the gameplay features that we're going to end up getting so i don't think this is actually bad but do i think there could have been more possibly but do i think that there is enough when it comes down to gameplay plus build and buy i think this came with everything it was supposed to come with i think this is probably one of my favorite items in the sims game. i think this is probably one of my favorite items in build and buy and i think that the, you can do a lot with this especially if you are into gameplay you can be delulu and make yourself a tarot card reader and try to get money from it all right baby boy is watching me right now so if you see him you could even be delulu and try to and try to get money from this there's a lot of different options and then there's places okay no 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 this is what you're not gonna do sir sir do not pull on my mic oh my gosh please don't pull on that you're gonna break it okay i have to let you down for a second because you're 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 being aggressive one second okay mommy's almost finished i'm gonna film this really quick because he is probably going to go insane i i really do like that we have different options with our funerals and i love the fact that they gave us different graveyards because that'll actually make the graveyards look a lot different when you are placing them and when and especially for the people who are love and especially for the people who love building by i feel like this is we need different graveyards and i feel like we need different colors and different graveyards because again it's gonna make everything look a little bit different because you know everybody has their own little personality and touch when it comes down to creating them so i feel like this would be really great and give people different options to, so you know the few the the graveyard won't look so uniform you know what i mean i really do love pieces like this that look lived in and that you can add your own clutter to one of my favorite things about this entire pack is definitely one of these uh, one of the tarot card posters because there's just so many different kinds and i feel like they just bring i just i love it i think they did a really good job with all of these posters and one of my favorite is wait where is it where is it i love this one yay 
Yay, this looks so cute. We do have a few beds and I don't think these actually look bad. I just think they look repetitive, something that we've already, I mean, but there's only but so many times, but there's only but so many ways you can actually make a bed. And I feel like at this point, all they're doing is giving us different swatches, which is what all they can really do because how many, like, like what kind of other beds could they possibly make? You know what I mean? We do have different coffin style. We do have different styles of these as well. And we have different cribs as well if you're into that little eerie, creepy vibe. There's different options for chairs as well. And of course we do have other options other than black. One thing I really do love is they gave us a bunch of different options on this. One thing I really do like about this is that they gave you different options and swatches. I think that's a really good idea and that was smart on their end because it does give options for vers being versatile. Or you cannot keep kicking mommy's stuff. And I really, and I really do love this rug. And I really do like the rugs. I feel like the rugs add a nice touch because again, with this life and death, you can, with the life and death EP, I feel like it's not just about funeral homes. There's other things that you can do in this world. I feel like there's other things that you can do with a lot of the a lot of these pieces that involve other things like being a tarot card reader or you can be delulu and make your own lore story i keep telling people that delulu is being delulu is the best way to play the sims because you're gonna have so much fun i love these different textures and items one thing i didn't get into is the wallpaper which i want to get into right now and i actually really do love the different types of swatches and wallpapers that came with this again i always say that they're kind of missing the mark on wallpapers but i feel like this time around they actually did a really good job i will say on a scale one to ten i'm going to go ahead and rate this entire <gasps> that is gorgeous wait pause 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 that is so pretty i actually really love that print we do have new flooring as well that looks really good and i love these little pieces where you can see like the holes on the floors and the walls and i believe the windows do that too as well yes like a lot of the windows that came with the packs are some of them came a little broken which i love personally for me on a scale one to ten i'm gonna go ahead and rate the building by a solid eight i definitely think they did exactly what they needed to do for the ep and it does feel like this is ep worthy especially with all the lore and different ways that you can tell and, and especially with all the different ways you can tell a story with the build and buy items again i am a little biased because i am a gameplay simmer but i would love to know your opinion and i truly do love all the different posters that they gave us as, as, as an option on a scale to 10 i'm gonna rate this entire thing a solid seven i wasn't expecting i was not expecting the creative sim to wow me but i wish there was more again this is an ep at the end of the day and if it was a game pack i would have understood but this is an ep so i feel like there's no excuse not to have as many hairs and shirts and pants and full body outfits just as as you would the adult i feel like with building by they didn't go overboard and they didn't go under either they went they, they played it safe they did exactly what they needed to do for the ep and i feel like there's a lot of different ways that you can tell a story the only thing i'm very disappointed on and why i can't give it a nine is because of the world i feel like they really lacked on the world i feel like there could have been so much more storyline with the other two worlds again this is not including what is this world called again this is not including morning veil i feel like whispering Glen and Crow's Crossing could have been 110% more. I feel like that's something that we've already seen before and it does feel a little bit repetitive to me. And it's unfortunate that with seasons, the snow is not there. Thanks for watching my unpopular opinion. And of course, this is my opinion. I would love to know yours. And whether you're a silent viewer, you comment on my videos or you share my videos, at the end of the day, you still show me some love. And for that, I thank you. With that all being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.